So here's the deal. This is, and we'll clip this right now, news you can use. Uh, today is the 10th of February, 2022. Um, a, a recent uh, report in the Financial Post came out, and this banking watchdog group has warned that housing prices are probably going to drop by 20%. Now, these are the first guys that have come out uh, really bearish on, on this market. Zillow this week has gone out and said, now they were wrong. They think it's going to go up by 16%. So we got 16% increase, 20% decrease. <clears throat> I think it's going to be closer to the decrease than the increase. There's always going to be markets that will go up. But there are other factors that are going to drive uh, that, that pricing down. And the first one is the chairman of the St. Louis Federal Reserve today said, uh, that he is, uh, he's committed to, and this, and with the way they do this, they leak with one of the various reserves. Uh, he is committed to breaking the back of inflation, uh, you know, in a very short period of time. <clears throat> what that means is instead of this quarter point or a half a point that we are expecting for the Fed to raise rates, they're probably going to raise at 1% between now and the 4th of July. Um, that's a big increase. Remember, current Fed rates are quarter, half a percent right now. And to add 1% to that, that means basically a tripling of interest rates. Um, that is going to, whether people want to admit it or not, that's going to choke off the ability of many people to afford what they were wanting to in houses. So <clears throat> one or two things has to happen. Either the market stops, people stop buying, or prices drop to accommodate the fact that a higher payment has to be made. Um, and I think that latter will occur. I've seen this happen a couple of times before over the last 20 plus years. And I think that is a, uh, in my opinion, it's a mathematical certainty. Third thing that I wanted to address is the recent article out of the San Jose Mercury News. And these guys have historically been pretty accurate uh, in their editorial about the Bay Area marketplace. Now, the way this thing works, a lot of times prices are established San Francisco Bay Area, they work their way east. We've talked about that ad nauseum in previous calls. <clears throat> but they're saying that literally the market is 10% overpriced. And what they're saying is that the appraisers are complicit in the overpricing of this marketplace. Specifically, I think they lay the blame at the feet of the Zillow iBuyer program. Uh, we've talked about that last year, the iBuyer debacle, where basically Zillow had their artificial intelligence computer program spit out prices, uh, and they were overpaying for houses with no oversight, no overcheck, that kind of thing. Um, there was no justification, and they basically, I believe, through the USAID iBuyer program, fraudulently inflated prices in the markets that they were buying it, because the way this thing worked is... They would overpay for a house that would establish a new house. And so all the other houses they already owned would artificially raise in price. San Jose is as basically San Jose Mercury News has basically said that has effectively increased prices 10% over their real value. They're putting pressure on appraisers in that area to drop those prices to uh, something that is more sustainable and is backed up by facts, not by this phony iBuyer stuff that happened at the end of last year. Um, if that happens and a million dollar house instantly becomes a $900,000 house, you will see prices tumble across the board. So I think the chances are more towards a price drop than a price increase. Of course, as we talked last week, there's always going to be these markets out there where prices are going to go up because the demand is much higher than the supply i.e. Northeast Utah, you've got all these Californians that are selling out and they want to get out of the blue state of California and get into the red state of Utah and they're willing to overpay and spend all their money uh, doing that. And so, you know, those, those kind of areas will continue to go up in price. I don't think there's going to be, uh, that, that's, that is also a certainty just because of a low supply and a high demand. But I think in most areas of the country, it's gonna you're going to see things go the other direction. So, 